Hey everyone, this is Dan Charles with Light Forex. It is Tuesday, April 7th. I'm going to do a breakdown of the major Forex pairs as I do. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button if you like my accuracy, and go to the link in the description below this video. Okay, so let's start with the Australian USD. Okay, so I was calling for this to pull back and uh, it was very important that it broke out yesterday and yesterday I was very confident we would break out today I was bullish today and if you look at the monthly chart it does look like there's more upside it does look like we can break from here now we are as of right now hitting a bit of a wall at 62 resistance and we did hit that before on March 27th and then again on March 31st. Uh, but it looks to me like we will bust through that more than likely. Now you look at the 240, you can see we hit that wall, that high 6208. 6208 was hit twice. So I do think this will come back. Uh, support is going to be at right around 61, the low here, 6165. Yeah, so you want to see that price hold 61.65, but yeah, you see that resistance hit 62.08. Okay, so let's see if 61.50 can hold as a support price. 61.50. Right there. Let's see if that can hold as a support price, but I'm going to be, I'm definitely going to be more bullish on the Australian USD. Let's take a look at the Australian futures. Yeah, so okay. So we're getting these gaps and that resistance. There's that resistance on the 240 and on the 60 again. Yeah, there is a gap there. So, okay, so this is a little bit different now. 61 support needs to hold, but yeah, I don't like these gaps. These gaps tell me we more than likely will be pulling back. So look for that pullback, and let's see if this support can hold 61 on the Australian futures, and just what I showed you on the Australian USD, but... Yeah, so that's what I mean by the difference in the Australian USD and the Australian futures. This tells me more than likely we will be pulling back. So let's see how that plays out. Let's jump to the Euro, Euro USD. And uh, yeah, I was calling this bearish, but when I looked at this yesterday, I was expecting this rebound. I didn't make a video yesterday, but that's what I was expecting today. And I benefited from that. And now uh, 1.0855 is going to be support. Of course, 1.09 as well. So we're right at that price. Just over it right now as I make this video. But you look at the 240 and this is telling me this will probably come back before it continues this uptrend. So look for that pullback to come. Let's see if 1.0850 holds. You can see the resistance as well. So I am expecting more upside on the Euro USD, but you want to see these support prices hold. Let's take a look at the Euro. Okay, so Euro futures, yeah, gap. We're seeing a gap here, and we're seeing some support at that 1.09 price. You can see the low, 1.09005. Bit of resistance off of 1.1095 though, and the 240 is telling me we're going to come back. So, yeah. Okay, so now, yeah, look for this to come back and look for these prices to hold. Uh, we would say 108.5 would be next level. 
support. See if that can hold. Okay. Pound USD. Okay, so pound USD. I was calling for this to rebound. And now I like the uh, just what it did today. It was holding support the previous two days. 1.22. And now it is setting up to break out. So I like the pound USD going higher from here. I'm going to be bullish on the pound USD. Let's take a look at the pound futures. Pound futures holding 23. You can see it's pulling back, holding 23 today. Right there, holding 23. Yeah, I, I like um, I like the pound uh, going higher from here. Okay, New Zealand USD. Now, New Zealand USD is just like the Australian USD. I was calling for this to pull back and I was saying I wanted to see it for sure hold 58. Clearly it did that. Yesterday broke above 59 resistance. And now we're above um, 58, sorry, 59 and a half. We, now we did hit some resistance though at 0 0.60 pulling back. As of right now, this is looking, the 60 minute is definitely hitting hitting that wall. That 60 price holding support though at the uh, 59.76 price. So that needs to hold. 59.76 needs to hold because right, as of right now, this is setting up to come down and, and bust through that. Uh, but just the price action on the daily chart is, is definitely looking more bullish and the monthly chart is even looking like there's there's some more upside in this move so I got to be bullish but let's see if it can hold 0.59 and a half and definitely needs to hold 5.9 so I'm going to be bullish let's take a look the New Zealand futures might change my mind completely just like some of the earlier ones we looked at yeah so the Australian uh, sorry the New Zealand Futures hitting a wall at 0 0.60 today. We got these gaps. Yeah, this one, um, it's not as obvious as the Australian dollar that look, was looking that it, it would pull back. You can see here the, the high yesterday, 59.59, and the low today, 59.64. Is higher, but it's this is not definitely not a clean looking move by any means. So it's a little bit mixed. I'm going to be mixed on this one. I'm going to be neutral because it is gapping, it could pull back. But if it holds this this low 59.62, you can see this support right here, which is the open 59.73, the opening price. I'd want to see that price hold. If that price can hold and this can break uh, above resistance, the highs on this candle, 59.91, then I think it's got a shot. But as of right now, it's I'm very mixed on this one. So let's stay neutral. Okay, USD CAD. Now USD CAD has been trending up, but very choppy. It's up, it's down, it's up, it's down, it's up. It's down. Now, yesterday when I looked at this, I was definitely more bearish for today. And if you look at the monthly chart and even the weekly, it does look like there's more downside. It definitely looks like there's more downside. We are breaking through that very important support price of 1.40. And we got close, though, to 1.39, but you can see we're pulling up. We're pulling up on that price as of right now. So this would need a break back above 40, 1.40. Um, yeah, I'd want to see this above 
the open price of this candle 4014 so 1 1.4014 was is where you'd want to see this break above a strong break but just the monthly chart we're still new early in the month and uh, it's it's definitely showing there's there's more more downside so look for more downside but let's take a look at the Canadian Canadian dollar cuz that could say something different now the Canadian dollar is saying something a bit different right now. It is showing we have a bit of a wall at the high made on March 27th. That high was 71,790, and the high today was 71,765, and then it's pulling back, and we have this gap. So the Canadian dollar is looking like uh, it could fill this gap in. Gaps usually get filled and just like we had uh, and we're also overextended from the moving average as well. And just like when we're overextended from the moving average I said this was going to pull back. It did pull back and then it set up holding support at 0.70 but now this is overextended. Now the 240 and the 60 are showing that this is looking to continue this uptrend. Uh, but the daily is telling me we could pull back. So this is really looking like this should pull back and the USD CAD should rebound off that support. That's how that's looking right now. So let's go with that. USD Yen. USD Yen has been bullish the previous few sessions after being quite bearish, but it was holding this very important support at 107. Bounced off that support, and we hit some resistance at 109.50, pulling back. So going forward, the, the 240 is definitely lining up bearish. The 60 as we speak is dropping. It did have, have some support where it's at right now though. And that low was 108.72. Let's quickly look at the yen futures. See how that's shaping up. Yeah, the yen futures is setting up like this could have a bounce to the upside and the, the USD yen would go the other way putting in higher lows you can just see it breaking out on the 60 and it, and this just has all the characteristics on the 240 of forming a, a strong bottom this uh this price right here the open uh price 0 0.0091735 yeah, it does look like it's it's trying to form a strong base at that price. So look for this to uh, rebound and the USD Yen to continue to be pulling back. Now, I would want to see support at 108.50 would be important support. And then of course, we got that support at 108. You'd want to see that hold. But if it starts breaking those levels, then... I would definitely go full on bearish. But right now it does look like this should come down and the yen futures will go the opposite. Okay, that's the breakdown for Tuesday, April 7th. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. If you like watching my videos, you see the accuracy, I'd really appreciate it. And go to the link in the description below this video. Thank you for watching.